were best mates, known each other for years, We're like sisters really. Gemma! I only really want to go to India to see the Taj Mahal, where Diana got a picture taken. Go. You know, I was kind of wanting to avoid all the tourist stuff. Come on, quickly! Come on, quickly! Come on, Come on down! My money belt is gone, it's been nicked. I think this belongs to you. Find it on the platform. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. We're, we're neighbours, Zach. My wife's gonna join us. Hope you don't mind. Carl, this is Esther. I'm a real daddy's girl. What about you, Es? My father's dead. This is for you, Es. So you'll never forget our holiday in India. We're having an adventure, isn't that what you came to India for? <laughs> <sighs> Let me explain something to you, you are pretty little bitch. You make one more move on Zach and I'll kill you. He was at the Taj Mahal watching you. They targeted Jet. No wonder you won't kill the cell. <laughs> you are under arrest for murder. So who's gonna look after Gemma in India now? Why did you laugh? What are you talking about? When you saw the body of your victim! She is not my victim! I did not Why know. did you laugh? I don't know. The coroner's report! It is clear that the victim was stabbed a total of six times by a right-handed attacker with a large, serrated and extremely sharp object. Probably some kind of household implement. The depth of the bones combined with a variety of defensive cuts and abrasions to the arms and hands suggest a sustained, vicious and frenzied attack. Sustained, vicious, frenzied. miles from home no family because they're all tragically dead your mum commits suicide no friends because you're really not the sort of girl who makes proper life on friends no boyfriend either and to add fire to the fuel you took all that wacky backy from Zaki and battered me and you can't remember if you stabbed Coral viciously to death or not Gemma You've got to tell them, please. You've got to tell them I didn't do it. They'll never believe me, Esther. They'll look into my background, my whole cherry-flavored lip salve addiction thing, and they'll never believe me. I'd like to help you, Esther. I really would. I'm afraid you're on your own.
सर आप हमें थोड़ी देर के लिए अकेला छोड़ दें I didn't do this. I'm innocent. I please, need to find you. Please, one thing at a time, okay? You're not from here. No, Esther. I'm from Kilmarnock. Paddy Singh, attaché from the British High Commission. What took you so long? I've been in I'm here. I'm very days. sorry. We've only just been informed. Please. Oh, I forgot you, we present. I get these off the planes for my clients. What about bail? Can I get bail? I'm afraid that uh, Judge Mera has refused bail. If they are allowing you a phone call, who would you like to contact back in the UK? Have you got a name, Esther? Someone I can contact? Someone in the family? I don't have any family. Must be someone. I don't know, Karen. I don't know where she is. Karen, something terrible's happened. I need you to come over. Esther, I've got a broken leg. I'm in plastic. Karen, I need you to come over. I'm in prison. I'm here in prison now. On Karen. Karen. Shit. No, 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 Good, is it? I mean, you're supposed to listen to me. Let's go to work. When I get back, Gemma, this is for your own good. I love you, but if you won't do as I ask you to do, Your passport will be held here. You report back at 9 a.m. next Monday morning. And when I get the evidence that proves your guilt, I'll be asking for the maximum sentence. There'll be no privileges just because you're a foreigner. Yes, sir. Well, I wasn't allowed bail. You got friends in high places? This person paid your bail. She wants to see you immediately. Good luck. You all right? Who are you? I'm Steve, Esther. From the nightclub, I'm Gemma. I mean, I used to work with Gemma. I just got here. Karen told me I got a flight over. I've been to the British consulate and... Oh, come on, I've, I've got a car. Yeah. No. It's all right, it's all right, come on. Come on. Here you go. I'll just get in. Where are we going? 
to a hotel. You need to rest. We'll get you some clothes in the morning. This woman paid me bail. She wants to see me. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. She got us this car, so she might be able to help us. Help us what? Find Gemma. The Scottish guy at the embassy kind of told me what happened, but I need you to tell me everything. Oh, they had me in there for six days. Please. Gemma's mum and dad are really worried. She hasn't texted them or anything. I didn't tell them he'd lost her. I... Well, I didn't lose it. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. I just need to know what happened. We'll talk in the morning, OK? Salmon, do you know where this hotel is? Please. Zach, what was he like? What age was he? Was he... Was he good-looking? Yeah, I suppose he was good-looking. Is that what Gemma saw in him? Did you kill my daughter? I paid you bail because I wanted to see the face of my daughter's killer. I didn't kill her. The police, how long did they hold you? I don't know, a week. I don't trust the police. They're incompetent. All they ever brought me were excuses. I want the truth. Just the truth. Oh, there was this man, Zach. He sort of preyed on women who were a bit vulnerable and... He sent the pictures. After she disappeared, pictures began to arrive. Seeing pictures, 
You wanted money. We are a respectable family. Of course I paid. Then last month it was too much. He asked for too much. Hmm. Killed her. That's why Zach killed her. Mrs. Shastri. I just came to India to travel. And now I just want to go home. I'm so sorry you lost your daughter. She was so naive and trusting. The last day I saw her, she was so excited. She'd met someone from a respectable family. She went off to meet him. He was delayed. She was gone by the time he came to the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal? That's where Zach found me and Gemma at the Taj Mahal. Well, that's his hunting ground then, isn't it? Well, he might go back. Look, it's possible. We have to try, Esther. You've only got a week out of prison. But how? Where do we start? Take my driver. This man couldn't have disappeared completely. We go back to Agra. We go back to the Taj Mahal. So this guy, Zach, comes here, meets girls, messes with the Reds. Why Gemma? Why target Gemma? That's what I don't get. Why not Gemma? Suppose you would look vulnerable, easy to manipulate. I've met guys like that before, you know, control freaks, like vultures. They prey on weakness and vulnerability. They get off on it, you know. She had a big princess die thing, didn't she? Yeah. This is for US, so you'll never forget our holiday in India. I've emailed one to Steve as well. She sent you the photo with Zach in it in the background watching us. She sent it to you on email. He told me you worked in India. To work in India, you need a visa. To get a visa, you need a recent passport photo. But you also need an address in India. How do you know all that? I'm a trolley dolly. I know these things. Right, OK. Gemma, love from India. There's the Taj. That's him. Wait, right, here. That's him. That's Zach. You sure? Well, what do we do? I mean, do we take this to the police? I can't go to the police again, Steve. You heard Mrs Shastri. Well, what do we do then? Give me a phone. Five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, one, two, forty-three, forty-four. Coming! Ready or not? I don't know what else to do. I'm running out of time. I don't know, Esther. The server's down. I can't get email. Well, hold on. Can you get the fax machine? Can you fax it to me? Yeah, there's one at the hotel. Send it as soon as possible. You've only got a few days left. Call me as soon as you get an address. We'll take care now. Thanks, Paddy. He's gonna do it. Paddy's gonna do it. What's that? Nothing. It's just a message from Gemma. It's nothing. It's personal. What do you mean, nothing? She's missing. Anything could have happened to her. I'm on a murder charge and Gemma could get me out and you're telling me nothing. Right. Well, go on then. I'm 
sorry, Esther. I know you've been through a lot. It's just Gemma, she... She doesn't think. It's not important. This is important. Come on, there's a fax machine at the hotel. Gemma, Gemma, Gemma. What am I going to do with you? This could all be so perfect. The two of us, together, forever. You do love me, don't you? Yes, I love you. Then why won't you do what I tell you to do? through now. Wait a minute. You got it? Aye, that's it here. But listen, this could take a wee while. You get some sleep, yeah? You'll hear as soon as I hear. Okay, thanks, Paddy. Thanks a lot. Okay, I'll be in touch. I think we might have done it. I think we're going to find him. Steve? Mm. What? Will you hold me? What is it? I know. It's off Paddy. He's got us an address someplace called Gagawan or Gagawan or something. Gagawan? Give me a minute. All right. Oh, Paddy, you're right. Paddy, you're right. Paddy, you're right. I can't believe you've got an actual address. Have you called the driver to ask him to meet us with the car? Steve. Steve. Steve! Shit! Look, I thought it might be dangerous for you, so I thought I'd best do it myself, all right? Without discussing it with me. Well, discussing it? What do you mean? You're making it sound as though we're... We're an item. I need to hurry, all right? I think 
I'm owed some kind of apology. Look, I feel guilty about us. I feel guilty about about what happened. What did just happen, Steve? It was a mistake. It was the heat or something. The heat. I love Gemma. Okay. Here, grab that, grab that, grab that. We've built numbers. Hello? Hello? Ge Gemma? Steve. Gemma? You've got to get me out of here. Listen, tell me where you are. Ge tell me where you are, I'll come and get you. I'm still in India and I'm really scared. Where is she? Shush, shush. God. Gemma, listen, listen, calm down. Cal Esther left Hello. me with this lunatic. She totally abandoned me. He's got me here and... Hello? Gemma? Gemma? Jesus. What'd she say? She was Zach. Zach's got her. Jesus. Come on, come on. Hi. Hi. Thought you were at your office. I got my phone. What are you like? Jacket. You alright? I'm really good. I've cleaned upstairs. I'm sorry to ask. Could I go shopping, please? Not planning on running away, are you? No. No way. Do you know what will happen if you do? There's no escape from me. I don't want to escape. You know what that was? That was a good answer. Past in the past. The old Gemma is gone. We're safe here. Everything's just peachy, ain't it, doll? Yeah. Really peachy. So, if I let you go shopping, will you do what I want? I will do anything. You. Sweet, lovely Gemma. Coming with you. No, you're not. You can't. Why not? You worried I'll tell her about us, is that it? What were you gonna do, Steve? Take her out of the country and leave me right in an Indian jail so you and her can live happily ever after? Look, I don't know. I don't know, okay? He could be doing anything to her. He could be trying to kill. She's really scared. Yeah? Well, I'm scared too. I'm on bail for a murder charge, and Gemma is the only witness who can get me off. Right, so it's nothing to do with guilt then, no? What? Gemma told me that you left her in the house, you abandoned her. No wonder she called you a bitch in her email. Excuse me! It's Gemma who's the real bitch here! What's that supposed to mean? You didn't hear what I just heard. She's in trouble. Yeah, well, if she is in trouble, she's only got herself to blame. <laughs> you just don't understand, do you? Everyone thinks she's this nice, sweet, ditzy, vulnerable little defenseless thing. You'd see what she really is like. She could be a real manipulative, twisted little cow sometimes, you know. Well, it sounds to me like you're jealous. You know, I'm, I'm coming with you, Steve, all right? I'm coming with you. You listen to me. You say nothing to Gemma. Yeah, I say nothing about our desperate bit of sex. Don't worry. But you make sure she comes back to Delhi and gets me out. Do you understand? Next time you have meaningless sex with someone, don't tell him you'll have Gemma in the morning. Wait a week and send her a text or something. I'm sorry. It's just... Gemma... It's like she's part of me. And I was going through a lot of shit. And she was the only one that was there for me, you know? When I found out she was in trouble and Karen told me, I 
realised I love her. I really love that girl. If I find her this time, I ain't losing her again. <laughs> and it wasn't meaningless. Trust me, Steve, it was meaningless. Nice. But meaningless. says Zach's real name's Mark Cochran. He works in a call centre. Call centre? Doesn't sound like the same guy. Well, it's got to be. It's got to be. She sounded so scared, you know. How did this happen, Esther? I mean, look at us. How the hell did all this happen? Maybe I should have stayed in that house. Maybe I should have tried harder. Maybe I shouldn't have left her. I left her like I left my mum. Okay. I had an argument with my mum. Just about the usual stuff. My job. What I was wearing. My boyfriend. I didn't know she was that depressed. She doesn't tell me. I left my mum crying and I never saw her again. No, it's not your fault. Come on, let's go. Okay? Come on. Kalina, Sector 24, Phase 2, Gagawan. Thank you, sir. Sector 24, Phase 2. What kind of place is this? God knows. Looks like Milton Keynes on a bad day. 
Come on. Just get to the address first, yeah? We must be close now. I'll come to take you home, okay? Mom. I'm so sorry. It's, it's so okay. Sorry. It's okay. We'll come to take you home, Jim. All right? It's okay. Come on, let's get back to the car and get things sorted with the police. Police? No, why do we need the police? We're going home. Everything's fine now. No, no, Gemma. Everything is not fine. Connell was murdered. I've been in prison. They think I did it. I need you to come back and tell them the truth, Gemma. Gemma? Gemma, they think I killed Connell. They think I did it. It scares me, it really scares me. I mean, you don't know how clever he is. You get the police, he'll get off with it. No, he won't. We need to go back to Delhi. He'll get off, Esther. And he'll come after me and he'll find me and he'll kill me. Like he killed Coral? Oh, God, he was horrible. He was like, he tried it. He was horrible. Gemma, Zach killed her. Zach killed Coral. Yeah. Right, let's get in the car, let's get back to Delhi. Come on, come I'm on. I'm so sorry, Steve. I mean, I thought he loved me, but I mean... Oh, God. I know I deserve it. It hits me sometimes, but I don't. It hits you. Where is it? At work. We've got his address. 
We'll get this sorted out with the police. We'll take him to the police after I cave his face in. No, we won't. I haven't come all this way and found Gemma. You stopped me, Gemma. For Christ's sake, he's been knocking her about. So what, I'm supposed to stand back and let him? You really think I'm going to let him get away with that? This is not about you and Gemma. I have five days to get back to Delhi. and get myself Stop. out of this with hair. Don't tell me to shut. Gemma! Shit! Esther, just don't shout at me. I'm sorry. It's okay. You're scared. He's inside your head. I understand, Gemma. Gemma, you're safe now. There's a main road over there. We've got to go. Oh. We've got to go the main road. Oh. oh, God, you don't know what it's like. The things it does to me. He'll find me. He's a maniac. He's a maniac. 
He'll find me, Mr. He'll find me and he'll kill me like he killed Carl. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God. He says he loves me. He keeps saying he loves me. Don't you understand? He doesn't love you. He's made you dependent on him. You witnessed him killing Coral. That's why he's got you here, trapped in this... Gilded cage? Yeah. Gilded cage. Just like Princess Di. Don't you see, though? Diana escaped her gilded cage with a man who really loved her. Daddy. <sighs> yeah. Hog. Hog. Come here. I forgive you, Esther. For hitting me and nearly killing me, I forgive you. You hit her? She did. Oh, for Christ's sake, Gemma, we can sort this out on the way home. Okay. Just don't shout at me, please. Don't shout at me. I'll get my stuff and then we'll go. Stuff? What stuff? Clothes. Makeup. It's okay. Zach won't be back till after six. We've got tons of time. Where are they? Upstairs. Upstairs. Gemma, I don't care what you do. Just hurry up. Why are you always having a go at me? I'm not. Please, could we just go a little bit quicker? Do you want to be my bridesmaid? At my wedding to Steve. He's ready, I can feel it. He's going to ask me, Esther, and you can be my bridesmaid. Well, after all we've been through together, it's the least you deserve. Karen will understand. Hey, it'll do you good. Help you leave all your orphanhood problems and your mad personal issues behind and help you join the real world with us normal people. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Oh. I can't. Oh, you sit on it. I'll leave it off. Excuse me, Esther. I'm not that much bigger than you. That's not the point. Oh. You're really strong, aren't you, Esther? Should have seen the bruising when you whacked me. I look like a battered single mother. Could have permanent brain damage, you know. Shit, I can't get it. Get off and we'll take some stuff out. Steve, give us hand, will you, baby? What have you got in here, Gemma? I could just stuck in Delhi for months helping us to get out of this mess. I'm gonna need my stuff. What's going on here? We're going home and we're taking Gemma with us. Oh, really, Esther? I don't think so. Gemma belongs to me now, don't you, Gemma? I think you best understand, mate. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you, Mark? Mark? Who the bloody hell is Mark? Him. His name's Mark Cochrane. He's a liar. You get your stuff on. <laughs> Behave yourself! 
We're leaving. Gemma, Gemma, we're going home now. We're leaving Gemma. Stay there. He's a sleazy prick. He works in a call centre. Yeah, but he's a consultant. A consultant? Is that what he told you? He's probably been fleecing money from you. Just like he did with Coral. He's a loser. He's a parasite. Shut it. Crap in bed as well. Dick, the size of a... <laughs> <laughs> Steve, he hit me. He hit me. Like your dad hit your mum. No! no! Defense. It was an accident. I entreated Vidzak, also known as Mark Cochrane, to desist, but he continued to stab Ramya Shastri repeatedly until she was dead. If you could please sign your statement here, Miss Williams. Hotel. Okay, brilliant. Oh, we're just leaving now. See you in an hour, Mum. That's my family. They're meeting us at the hotel. They're taking us home. Oh, God, we're going home, Esther. We're actually really going home. <laughs> She's doing. She said she was gonna be here like yeah, ten minutes ago. Do you know what she's like? She's she's all right. Here she comes! Gemma! Oh, hey. Oh. Hey. Oh, oh. It is so good to see you again, Mum. Oh, you look lovely. Do you like it? Had the rest. Oh. <laughs> oh, you will not believe the traumas we have been through. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's been an absolute nightmare. Really? This girl, Esther, you'll see her over there. Oh. That's got the miserable face on. Mm. I'll tell you what, I thought I was like, I thought I was an Andy. No, no. Touching, eh? What do you want? I'm going home. I have told you everything I know. I did not kill anyone, and that is the truth. Okay? The whole truth? It's okay. You're safe now. You're all safe, Westerners, on your way home. <laughs> Happy endings, eh? Zach's death. It wasn't an accident, was it? No. Thank you. I've gone through all the statements in the last two days. 
all the evidence. And I found one lie. Zach's phone. Look at the last incoming call. I traced the number. It was made from a phone box in Gurgaon. I need a word, please. Shish, they're making an announcement. In a minute, Esther. Mm. Right, guys. Me and Steve want to tell you all something. <laughs> We're, uh... Oh, God, I can't. You tell us, Steve. <laughs> Me and Gemma are getting married. Oh. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. Gemma? Excuse me. Fantastic. Well done. Right. What's wrong with you now? Can't you at least be happy for me? What's going on? We need to go. Steve, I'm having a word with Gemma in private. What is to stop me from walking over there and telling your whole family the truth? Mister, please. They wouldn't be able to handle it. Oh, for God's sake, it's just a little white lie till we get back to England. Then I'll come clean. I haven't seen my mum and dad for ages. They tell everyone I'm wearing a wig. Not talking about your bloody wig. Zach's phone, you called him from a call box at 2.46 in the afternoon. You brought him to that house. You knew he was coming. All that stuff about needing to pack. You were delaying us. Gemma, we're going to be late for the check-in time. It's 2.15, love. We're fine for check-in, thank you. You knew what Steve was like. You knew what he would do. You knew exactly how to goad and manipulate him. Esther, please. What was I supposed to do? I was living with the murderer. I mean, now that I've deprogrammed myself, I realize how how bad he really was. I know I should have seen the signs. His horoscope. Aquarius in the house of Saturn. And he was born in the year of the monkey. Oh, and he was left-handed. I mean, I am. Gemma, shut up! Just shut up! I am tired of listening to your stupid rant! Gemma, everybody is waiting. We can talk about this when we get home. Please, Esther. Let's just go home, eh? a bit of gratitude and be happy for us. Yeah. Congratulations. Right, is someone going to tell me what's going on? Nothing, Steve. Girly stuff, that's all. Everything's peachy. Listen, Esther. I told Gemma about everything that happened between us, all right? Yeah? Well done, Steve. No secrets, eh, Gemma? Oh, well, being with you made him realise just how much he loved me. I mean, why a burger when you've got a steak at home, eh? Exactly. <laughs> No secrets. The nightmare's over, and when we get back to England, no expense spared, I'm going to put a massive rock on this girl's finger. I know, I should have seen the signs. Oh, and he were left-handed. And he were left-handed. It is clear that the victim was stabbed a total of six times by a right-handed attacker with a large, serrated and extremely sharp object. Stop the car! What are you doing? Stop the car!
you out the car now. Gina, don't go anywhere. Wait here. This is between me and Esther. I'll deal with it. Back at the hotel, you said Zach was left-handed, didn't you? Uh, yeah. The person who killed Connell was right-handed. Not left-handed. Not Zach. Um, look. She just went completely mental. Started screaming at me like some mad skinny witch and... What could I do? She came at me with a knife. It was self-defense. So Zach took care of everything, got you out of there, covered up for you, and then he used it to control you. You killed Coral. You manipulated Steve into killing Zach. Oh, for God's sake. Zach was a nutter. Coral was a nutter. Don't you see? We're lucky. We're lucky, girls, Esther. Those two nutters are out of our lives now, thank God. Or Alla or Yoda or whatever they have out here. Six stab wounds. It was a vicious and frenzied attack. Gemma, get back in the car. Just wait, OK? I don't know why you've got your big holier-than-thou face on, Esther. I mean, the thing is, this is the thing. When you think about it, when you really, really, really think about it properly, it's all your fault. What? You brought me here. You sneaked out for dinner with Zach. You tried to kill me and knock me unconscious and left me with those two lunatics. I might have been the one that stabbed Coral. But really, Esther, it was you that killed her. <laughs> Think about it carefully, Esther. Do you really want to enter my world again? You get me arrested, taken to court. You're the main witness. <laughs> you know I'll get off. Once they see how ditzy I am <laughs> and how stupid. What stupid are? <laughs> Gemma, you are not stupid. You are most definitely not stupid. What you are, Gemma, what you are is evil. Let me go. Please, Esther. What I am, Esther, is a femme fatale. Non-smoking, of course. That's what I am. <laughs> so just get over yourself, get in the car, and deal with it. <laughs> I'm not coming. What? I'm staying here. <laughs> you stayed here? In India? What if you have another nightmare? I won't have another nightmare. Oh, why is that? Because, Gemma, you'll be on another fucking continent, that's why. Fine. Suit yourself.
The girls from Lark Hall are back for the last ever episode tomorrow night, and when a decomposed hand appears in the toilets, you know there's going to be trouble. Going out in style, it's the Bad Girls Christmas Special tomorrow at nine. Next on ITV One, it's the news.